two mighty guardians stand tall in a digital battlefield where cyber threats lurk at every corner. How much this is gonna hurt? Windows Defender, the vigilant protector embedded in every Windows fortress, faces off against Kaspersky, the battle-hardened defender trusted by millions. Kill my mom and squish my Walkman. Witness an epic clash of technologies as they fight for the ultimate supremacy and safeguarding your digital realm. Hey everyone, welcome to the Cyber Lab. In this video, we'll be comparing two of the most highly rated antivirus software that you can find, Windows Defender and Kaspersky. Now, Windows Defender was first introduced in 2006 as an anti-spyware program and later evolved into a fully-fledged antivirus program, which comes out of the box with the Windows operating system. Meanwhile, Kaspersky is a paid antivirus software developed by a cybersecurity company called Kaspersky Lab, founded by Yevgeny Valentinovich Kaspersky hence the name, uh, and has been going even longer than Windows Defender, first appearing in the early 2000s. So how do we separate them? Well, we'll compare the two by looking at the following categories. Features, security, performance, and usability. Now, we'll choose a winner for each category, and the one with the most points wins. Quite simple, really. Now, we can't talk about antiviruses and not mention our favorite, Norton. It has been considered a top product by AV Test every year since 2018, and their combination of features, which include real-time protection, ransomware protection, minimum 2 gig cloud storage, a smart firewall, a password manager, and parental controls, is hard to beat. So fortify your online presence with Norton's cutting-edge cybersecurity solutions and score an incredible 70% discount by clicking the link in the description or heading to thecyberlab.co forward slash Norton. Your digital safety awaits. All right, so first up, features. First off, let's look at what you get at face value in terms of basic features, which Kaspersky and Windows Defender have lots of. Uh, first, they provide real-time protection against viruses, spyware, and other types of malware, including a firewall that blocks unauthorized access to your computer. Now, both also offer different scanning options, including full, quick, and custom scans. However, there are some differences. Kaspersky includes a virtual keyboard that protects against key loggers. It also offers parental controls that allow you to restrict access to certain websites and applications. Finally, there is a password manager that stores and encrypts your passwords. On the other hand, Windows Defender does have unique features, such as integration with Microsoft Edge to protect against phishing and malicious websites controlled folder access, uh, which protects specific folders from unauthorized changes, uh, protection against ransomware attacks, and device performance and health information. You must remember that Windows Defender comes in the box with Windows, so it's super easy to get set up. You don't even have to do anything extra. Now, while both Kaspersky and Windows Defender do offer similar features, their unique features set them apart as options depending on what you prefer. Kaspersky's features cater to users concerned about online security and privacy, especially for families with children who use the internet. While Windows Defender caters to users prioritizing device security, performance, and control over their data. So in this round, I'm gonna give the point to Kaspersky for the cool additional extras like keylogger protection. Next up, let's look at security. By this, we mean how well it protects you against cyber attacks and malware, how secure its data policies are, and so on and so forth. First, avtest.org gave Kaspersky a 6 out of 6 score for protection in their latest tests, and it's easy to see why. Kaspersky uses a range of security protocols, including signature-based detection, behavioral-based detection, heuristic analysis, URL filtering, system watch, a firewall, and anti-phishing, to provide comprehensive protection against, well, pretty much any type of threat. Now, Windows Defender got a 6 out of 6 score, too. Well done. It uses a comprehensive set of security protocols as well, including real-time protection, cloud-based protection, behavioral-based detection, firewall protection, controlled folder access, and exploit protection. Now, all these security protocols that Kaspersky and Windows Defender use help to identify and block known and unknown malware, 
detect suspicious behavior, monitor incoming and outgoing network traffic, protect against phishing scams and fraudulent websites, and provide real-time protection for your computer. Both are strong and sound in this regard, so it really comes down to the privacy of your data. Security.org gave Kaspersky 8.2 out of 10 due to historical security flaws and the fact that it allegedly still collects unnecessary information from users such as their IP addresses, domain names, time spent on pages and more which they share with third parties. Meanwhile, Windows Defender is included directly within the OS and no report suggests that any data is shared with third parties. So for this, the round goes to Windows. Before we look at the next round, don't forget to knock out that subscribe button and ensure that you're following the channel to keep updated with brand new tech videos every single week. Oh, our third category is performance. No, not that kind of performance. We're looking at how quickly and efficiently each program performs security tasks by looking at its impact on computer processing power. Now, we know that both Windows Defender and Kaspersky are efficient at detecting and removing malware, but how fast are they? Well, according to avtest.org, both Kaspersky and Windows Defender have mixed results when it comes to the processing speed during various tasks. For example, when launching popular websites, Kaspersky was over 5 percentage points slower than the industry average, while Microsoft Defender was over 1% faster. They both posted similar speed results for the downloading and launching of frequently used applications, but when it came to installation of these applications, Defender was slower by 6 percentage points. So far, they have been, well, evenly matched, but the final test was the biggest decider, the nail in the coffin for one of the two programs. When testing the slowdown while copying files locally and in a network, one averaged 0% and the other averaged a whopping 47% slowdown. <laughs> the culprit? Windows Defender. Now this one result knocked its overall performance score from AV test down to 5 out of 6 where Kaspersky received a perfect 6 out of 6 score. This also means that in this round the winner is yeah, you guessed it, Kaspersky going 2-1 up as we head into the final round. Usability. This is all about two things. Technical usability, aka the impact of the security software on the usability of the whole computer, such as any false warnings, false detections, or other things that might be a, a nuisance to users and disrupt workflow, particularly in a corporate environment where this could happen on a larger scale. The reason this matters is that false positives require manual input to override, slowing down the process. Secondly, the physical usability, such as how easy the UI is to use and whether results are easy to understand instead of technical mumbo jumbo. So let's take a look. First off, technical usability. AV test tested thousands of samples looking for instances of these blockages or false alarms and both Kaspersky and Windows Defender performed exceptionally well with perfect 6 out of 6 scores. Looking closer though, Kaspersky didn't have a single case of false alarms in any category. It didn't think legitimate software was malware, whether it was during installation or a full system scan. However, Windows had one example of a false blockage of certain actions carried out whilst installing and using legitimate software. Second, in terms of physical usability, Windows Defender is the more user-friendly option with a simple, easy-to-use interface that makes it a great choice for those who are not tech-savvy. On the other hand, Kaspersky offers well, more advanced customization options that allow more experienced users to fine-tune the software to their needs, which can actually give it the upper hand if you're willing to spend a bit more time getting to find your way around it. It might be close, and it might be harsh, but... Kaspersky just had that flawless shine that delivered the knockout blow to Windows Defender. Oh, looks like it's game over for you, partner. It's clear that both Windows Defender and Kaspersky are indeed excellent, high-performance antivirus softwares, and that both options have their pros and cons. While yes, Kaspersky will cost you a little more, starting at $16.99 a year, and Windows Defender is free with the OS itself, 
it's the other factors that set them apart. When we looked at features, the virtual keyboard, password manager, and parental controls were big winners for Kaspersky that Windows couldn't really match up to with its fairly basic offerings. And even though Windows did get one over Kaspersky when it came to security, that was mainly down to the historic flaws that Kaspersky had, and not necessarily any present ones, especially performance-wise, where Kaspersky performed much better in the AV test results. At the end of the day, the best antivirus software for you will always depend on your individual needs. Because while Windows Defender is a great option for those looking for a simple and easy to use antivirus program, Kaspersky is a more advanced option with additional features for those looking for more comprehensive protection. And sometimes that can make all the difference. Which is why Kaspersky won this showdown, partner. But we value your input. Join the discussion in the comments down below and let us know your opinion on this monumental victory. We hope that you're having a fantastic time watching this video. If you're loving what you see, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and by subscribing, you will never miss out on more exciting content similar to this. <laughs> we thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.